In this piano tutorial, we'll be learning the song Kingdom by Maverick City Music and Kirk Franklin in the key of F major. And this song was requested through the comment section. So if you have any song requests, feel free to leave them down below. And really quick, before we get into the tutorial, I started a project with a couple of friends. And this project is known as Faith Lo-Fi. And basically, if you want to support us, I'll leave a link in the description to our Spotify page. That way you can stream our music. Okay, so let's start off with the introduction of this song. It's a very simple progression, right? It's a two, one, then a three, and then a six, right? The three is voiced slightly differently, but I'll explain it, right? So it sounds something like this. All right, very simple progression. We start off on the two, it's a simple G minor then the one which is F and then we go into the C sharp diminished seventh right and this chord right here the way that I think about it is almost as a a passing chord to get us to the six now this passing chord is sort of based on the three right the three in this case is a so if we were to play this on top of the a we would get an A7 flat 9. So this A is sort of the, the secondary dominant that leads us to the 6, which is the next chord, right? D minor. So the way that we would voice it, right? Or the way that we come up with it, um, a very easy tip is if we're playing the 3 as a passing chord, I go to the 3rd, which is C sharp, and I simply go up by 3 half steps, and I create that diminished 7th chord, right? And in this case, we, we voice it in this way to match with the melody up top, which is in this case G. And then we finish on D minor, okay? The second time around, we play the same chords. The F actually um, is voiced with C up top. And then we play the passing chord and then to the six, right? A very easy introduction. Now, for the verse, right? The first verse, we start on the six, okay? And we're going to start on this chord right here, which is D minor seven. And on the record, I may be mis um, mistaken, but it almost sounds like if they voiced it in this way, right? Sort of as a four over six, just for that first chord. Either or works for this section of the song, right? It sounds something like this. I'll play the, the, pr the progression, which is six, seven, one, and then six, four, one right very easy so all right once again da -da -da -da. the melody in this case um so the way that i'm voicing the chords i started off on the six d minor seven for the seven which is technically a five over seven i just played a c major add two right or we can basically call it a c sus two right under or above of the seven which is e so six six seven then the one, which is F. We go back to the six. Then we play a B flat sus two. And then an F sus two, right? And a lot of times in these types of worship music, we're going to hear those types of voicings, right? Sus two. Sounds very like contemporary gospel, okay? So once again, can get creative with it all right so now we, let's move on into the pre-chorus which is the part that says my eyes on the sun and in this case we're actually going to match the melody right we're going to play my eyes on the and then we land on the chord right and in this case um the chord is going to be a g major add two over b right and 
this chord may seem weird to people that are beginning, right? But this is simply a G major add two, and we're taking the B and dropping in an octave, right? It's a drop two voicing. So my mind on the sun, Lord, you will be God. Right? So we played a this two, right? This major two. And then we're playing this minor four, right? Which is actually a B flat minor six, right? We're playing it in this drop two voicing again. And we can actually do a movement that I heard within the record, which is basically going down chromatically from the E down to the C sharp or D flat, right? So. Da -da 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 -da. go down chromatically and finish off on that minor four chord okay so this is the the pre-chorus which leads us to the chorus which is actually um a similar progression to the introduction right that is the kingdom right we're playing a two in this case we're playing it a little bit more full two one passing chord in C sharp diminished seventh to the sixth, right? So da 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 Here it changes a little bit with the voicings. Da 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 Right, we're going to play a two to a one over three, which is voice as an F major, add two right over a okay so da 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 my testimony passing chord to the 6 and then here we're playing another um 251 progression right we'll be singing and we're actually going to follow the melody again right we're going to do we'll be singing for right or we can do we'll be singing for right so we'll be singing for this is going to be the two which is voiced as a g13 chord right then from here or actually let, let's explain this chord real quick um the way that i think about it is i'm simply playing the the root with the minor seven that's my bass right there and then i go to the third with my right hand and from here, I'd simply go up in fourths, right? A fourth to E, which is actually the 13th. And then another fourth up to A, which is the ninth, okay? So, we'll be singing forever. Then the five chord is a C9 sus4 chord, okay? Now, this chord, the way that I think about it is I'm playing a two, right? A G minor over a sus um a five sus four right in this case a c sus four and that gives me that c9 sus four chord so and then we land on the one which is simply an f major add two and then in the song it actually turns around right so I'll play it first and then explain the chord. So we'll be singing forever and ever. Amen. Now what chords did I use there, right? What what chords appear in the song in this section? So we finished off on that two five one, right? Da -da 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 -da. From here, we go to a three, which I like voicing as an A7 sharp nine sharp five, right? Now, how do I get this voicing right here? I like thinking about it as an upper, upper structure triad, right? So in this case, I'm playing the three with, with its minor seventh and the major third, right? That gives me that A7. And then I'm simply playing an F major triad up here, right? That gives me that dissonant or altered type sound to this dominant chord, okay? 
and we can play around with the melody as well I simply play an A and C then a G and a B flat and then an F and an A okay so we were on the one three and then a six in this case a D minor 11 which is simply a C major over D minor so we'll be singing forever one three six and then I play a six over five right I'm playing an, a, a D minor seven over this five so one three six da, 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 da. and then I play this this chord right here which is simply a G7 over B we can add the ninth as well right then we resolve it to this G7 sharp 5 right this is simply a substitution for that 13th chord we used before right we're voicing it as a G7 sharp 5 then we finish on this other voicing for C which is the 5 right which is simply right before we used a, a G minor over C sus 4 but in this case we're using a B flat or the 4 over this C sus 4 okay Amen. so all together Right there, I try to include the melody, but let's let's just do the straight chords. Um, da, 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 da. Three, six, five, flat five, two, five, and then we're back to the one. Okay, and then we go into verse two, which is basically the same thing as verse one, right? to the pre-chorus pre da, 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 da. right I also heard that within the record it's a different movement that we can include with this um, B flat minor six right with this minor four chord um, we did da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. right this grace note going from G to A flat and then the A in combination with the C and then we play G and B flat okay then we're back to the chorus Dan is the the power the sorry the power the da 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 back to the section da, 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 da. right and we can actually switch it up a bit um we play da, 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 the same melody da, 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 da. but in this case when we land on the two we can actually substitute this two or this g9 or change the voicing rather g um 13 we change it into a g nine sharp five right all i did was simply move the e to an e flat and then we go into the the sus five chord, right? So, Amen. then it repeats.
now we're going to move on um into a different in, into an interlude right and we play this section right here by doing this part right we're simply playing a c a d an f and a g which leads us into this next progression which sounds something like this This is the interlude. We're simply playing a six as a D minor seven, right? In this voicing. Then we play a seven or a five over seven as a C major add two. Then we play an F. And as you can see, I'm playing an, uh, a grace note going from G to A. And then a four voiced as a B flat sus two once again, right? So. same exact progression but down an octave or down the register right if you if you ever wonder whatever it looks like right we're playing a six da, 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 da. switch up the voicings as we desire right da, 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 da. right so that's that bridge section then we get into the tag which is actually a melody right we start off with the melody and then you're going to see how we add different chords to the actual melody so the melody sounds something like this very simple we start off on the five so C the four then the three then the two right so then the three then the one back to the four then the three, and the one, and then the six, right? So I'll play it slow. And this is actually going to be played over the same bridge, right? So. Now, if we were to add the chords to this melody, we would play the six, right? So what did I do there? I added the six, which I'm actually playing as a sort of as a four over six, right? I'm playing this B flat major. So then I play this chord right here, which is a C major. Then when I'm playing this B flat in the melody, I'm actually going to be playing an F seven sus four, which I'm almost thinking about it as a, as in when we play this progression, right? That five, one, four progression. In this case, it's almost serving as the, the five, the minor five, but we're voicing it in this way, right? So once again, right, we're playing this F nine sus four. So resolve it so resolve it to an F7 and then we're we finish off on the four so once again we can add the three as well which actually comes up um, a little bit later into the song All right I'm playing this a7 sharp five and then we're back to the six sorry Right, 
It's all playing under that same progression. Like me and you. Right, and then we move on into different tags using the same or similar progressions. But then there's a part where sort of the rhythm changes, right? And we start playing this progression, right? Very similar. We start off on the six. Um, and it's in the section that says, "If you if you wanna know what heaven looks like, looking like me and you." If you wanna know what heaven Now this progression that we're playing here, we're starting off on the six, right? D minor seven, then the seven, or a five over seven, right? C ma C major over E, and then we're going to the minor five, which is a C minor nine. We resolve it to the one, which is a F13, right? This voicing. And then the four, which is a B flat major nine, right? And then we use the three as an anchor to bring us back to the six. simply playing this rhythm with it three then back to the six and we can switch up the progression slightly if we want to get a little bit more creative with it for example we can start off on the six go to the two in this case, a G7 sharp 5, right, which we used before. Then we go to the 5, 1, and then 4, and then back to the 3, okay? So... That's basically the whole song so what I want to do now is play it without any interruption that way you have an idea of what it sounds like um, I'll record the MIDI file that way you can download it and study it on your own time as well <laughs> 